Hey guys, what's up? Quick video here. Um, I was thinking about it. I got a comment from Danny Griffin on my channel and I had watched the Jocko documentary and, you know, seeing this comment about the great playing of Jocko, the compositions he had. And really what I realized is that it's not that Jocko is the most overrated it's that Zavinul is the most underrated musician of all time. I mean, literally, name me a musician in the past century that's more underrated than Joe. I mean, just the sheer different types of music he came out with. I mean, the and the quality all the way through. You know, you've got the rise and fall of the third string, which we I haven't even talked about on the channel. Um, it's sort of a combination of classical and jazz. You've got... Um, you know, obviously the uh, the weather report stuff, the later syndicate stuff. Um, you've got, you know, when he was 75, he's out there just smoking it up on the keyboards, just tearing it up, um, you know. And it's like no one got the sounds that he got out of that keyboard, not even close. And I mean, I remember there was a story, um, I think it was Zavinul was waiting to, to come on at some jazz festival and he heard uh, Herbie Hancock and, and Chick Corea out there playing um, a duet or something. And, and, uh, and you know, Zavinul said, they're out there, those cats are, are, are faking the blues. Um, and it was just something, something he had in him, um, you know, and playing with Cannonball for 11 years, um, was part of it, but he just had that, that, that soul, that soul in his blood and, and he wasn't faking it, you know, um, whether it came from the Austrian folk music, whether it came from the gypsy blood, you know, speaking of gypsy blood, this actually is, is gypsy, I believe. This is a, from a 2000 concert. But anyway, um, I mean, is there any other musician with the type of quality? I mean, the very, as I said, improvised, he could have been a classical musician. This is a symphony, this uh, Stories of the Danube. I mean, he could have been a classical musician. This this stands up there with the great, and Joe himself, you know, was a little self-promotional, you know, Weather Report's the greatest band on the planet and all that. Um, but you look at it, and, I mean, he has won a Grammy. Um, I'll have to check the, the date on that. I think it was after he passed. But, um, I mean, how many people really know his music? I mean, part of it maybe is the decline of jazz popularity. Um, but to me, there'll never be another Zavinal. I mean, it's like, how do you, how do you top it? Um, you know, I would think that he would at least be a household name on the level of a Paul Simon or a, I'm not expecting him to be top 40, which he is in some Eastern European countries, strangely enough. Um, or I know the Japanese uh, really appreciate him, but um, it's just, it's a mystery to me how he slipped under the radar to the point that he has um and anyway uh just wanted to bring that out and uh next time do a review of seeing the body electric peace out